Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to add a powerful export to action button using the Avoni data table. So this action button will allow users to export data in Excel or in CSV format. All data or maybe selected row. So let's get started. So we have this data table here. And what I'm going to do is I want to add an action button at the top here on the header to let users export data from the data table. So export data in Excel or CSV. So it can be from the header using the action button. Or if you want, you can also, specific to your needs, add this action on row action. Let me show you how to do that now in Flow Builder. I'm on Flow Builder. Let's open this and open the component builder on the data table. Here, I want to add this action button on the header. So you expand the header section, action, and we are going to add an action button. Let's name it export. And let's add an icon just for the fun. Don't know the icon like this one. OK, now I have my export button. I just created the action for the export button. Next step will be to create the interaction to make this export button functional. Let's do that. To make it functional, you need to go on this tab, the interaction tab. And here, this is where you can create your interactions. I want to create an interaction on a header action. Add header action. You're selecting the target name. That's the export button I just created before. And the type, what would be the type of interaction? We have a specific type for this. It's the export to interaction. Here you can, you can specify a default file name. Let's say Avoni data. If you want, you can also map this with a variable. So if you want to have default file name me being a variable or more than dynamic, that's how to do that. You have various options if you want to hide the export dialog or if you want to only make specific file format available. The same for the default encoding type, you have an uh, option here. Then save. We, jump, we can close and save this, the flow. Now let's see the result. OK, let's get back to Salesforce. I just saved my flow. So let's reload the page. And here, I will have the export button. So I have the export button just created. So if you're selecting specific data and hit the export button, you will have the export model box to be able to export the data, the selected data in Excel or CSV, for example. So let's select Excel, export, and voila my data is exported. The same way, if you want, you can select all, export, and it will download all the selected data from the data table. So that's really basically and easily how you can create an export action button to export data, specific data, from the data table in Excel or CSV file format. Let me know if you have any questions, comments. Uh, just let me know. And uh, thank you for watching this video. Bye.